<laughs> he said, no, thank you for your hospitality. Good night, guys. And we said, good night. And he just walked out of the room. And as soon as the door closed, we all looked at each other like, that nigga did that shit. <laughs> you feel like a feel. I was ready, they didn't have my back. They were petty, I stayed in my back. On that petty, I brought it right back. Back a vest. Man, ride, we riding through the hood. Grandma car broke down. We riding through the hood, man. Check engine light came on on guard. Oh, everything came on, man. We were trying to go to McDonald's and get a large Sprite with no ice. The apple pie and a McChicken, man. Free grandma, man. Grandma in jail, y'all. But, hey. Oh. I hope the family's well. I hope the gang is well. I hope you all are blessed. I wish nothing but health and success to all you guys man hope you all are healthy hope you all are blessed but hey man we got another banger requested video today from a family member um they said react to dave chappelle um he thinks oj simpson is might be chasing him so this is a netflix is a joke this is i think from his netflix series so y'all told me to react to it man and i gotta send flowers right now before we get into today's video dave chappelle was one of the best comedians ever to even touch a microphone man you know what I'm saying? i haven't seen this joke or seen this this you know this series yet on netflix but still hands down one of the best to ever touch a microphone y'all we send the followers out right now you feel me but let's jump into the video if you are new to the channel like i say join the family join the gang we got to keep climbing that mountain y'all we should be at a hundred thousand new family members by the end of this year um the way the channel's growing right now we might even be there uh pretty soon over three to three thousand new subscribers in the last three two to three weeks so i love you guys man keep showing love and let's jump into this video man is it recording is it my mission recall i don't know if it's recall for you chappelle my boy chappelle he got that jumpsuit on or this uh jacket on that boy fresh he got his name on it new oj show i can't get enough of that shit. Doesn't it bring back good memories? <laughs> <laughs> he hard. He got like the little patch to see. He got Chappelle. He, hey, Chappelle hard. Tripping. My boy Chappelle got the bald head. He fresh. Man, I forgot how, I forgot how, like, just how polarizing that OJ case was. And you know, I've met OJ Simpson on four different occasions in my life. And before the end of the show, I will tell you about each of those occasions. <laughs> the first time I met O.J. Simpson, I was in Santa Monica. Santa Monica? Yeah. I can't believe a black dude was like, Santa Monica! He <laughs> <laughs> was the last niggas I was expecting to say that. <laughs> See your shoes. You got some bands on, nigga? What you got? On? <laughs> Santa Monica! <laughs> <laughs> At the time, I was 18. Hey, man, shout out to the real ones that be wearing them vans, though, man. We done, we done, we done, we done hopped on the train wagon. You know what I'm saying? Vans hard, though. If you know how to rock them, they hard. So shout out to anybody that rocked them vans. I rock with you. I had done a show, and then a guy from the club came up and was like, hey, OJ Simpson's here, and he said he wants to meet you. I said, what? Fuck yeah. I ran down the steps, <laughs> and OJ was down there. He was like, hey, yo, man, how are you? It's very good to meet you. And uh, you're doing really good work, and I hope good things happen for you in your life. I was like, man, thanks, Mr. Juice. <laughs> I had to think about it. I like OJ Simpson, like OJ, like orange juice. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like Chappelle funny, fool. Standing beside him, well, I don't know the nice way to say this, uh, his soon to be slain wife. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up or you're not gonna make it through the end of this show. Just man the fuck up. Man up, for real. She's dead, you already know, we know what happened. We don't know who yep. did it, but we know what happened. <laughs> I should tell you that woman was very nice to me. She actually embraced me. She said, I think you're adorable. And she hugged me. She goes, good luck to you. And she held me for a long time. And I whispered in her ear, bitch, are you trying to get us both killed? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was just kidding, I didn't say that, but that was the first time in a nutshell. The second time I met O.J. Simpson. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That nigga dropped his head. It was right after the trial of the century. There I was, now a young man of probably 23. O.J. Simpson was the most famous or infamous face on planet Earth. I was in a restaurant in Beverly Hills with my agents. I wasn't alone in the restaurant, but I was alone. I was the only black person in the restaurant. <laughs> and in the 90s, that felt very uncomfortable. Now I tend to enjoy it at this age. <laughs> I was having dinner with my agents, celebrating a deal that they told me was lucrative, but I later learned fucking sucked. It be like that, man. They did my boy Chappelle bad, man. God. Freak, man. God. They did my man Chappelle bad, man. The man was rubbing Vaseline on his, on, his, on his head, man. Got that man rubbing Vaseline on his head. And suddenly, a group of women walked by. Every race was in that group. Black, white, Asian. Latina, white, white, and white again. <laughs> they were all gorgeous. I watched them walk by. Then I saw a familiar face. Al Collins, the man from the infamous Bronco Chase, walked by and embraced one of the women, and they walked towards the door. Couldn't believe what I saw. And then close behind him was O.J. Simpson, newly released from jail. The restaurant fell still. I was shocked. I didn't mean to say it out loud, but it just came out. <gasps> OJ! <laughs> I stopped. Turned around to see who said it. Saw my black face and correctly assumed it was me. <laughs> I was sitting in the corner of the booth. He leaned over all the white people I was having dinner with and shook my hand. How are you, young man? He looked in my eyes and I could see in his eyes that he didn't remember meeting me the first time. <laughs> and then he walked away. And I looked back at my agents, and all of them had nothing short of disgust on their faces. And the only one with the courage to voice their disgust was a woman named Sharon, who used to represent me. How could you, she said. How could you shake hands with that murderer? <laughs> oh. I said, Sharon, with all due respect, that murderer ran for over 11,000 yards. <laughs> yeah. And he was acquitted, so, you know, fuck it. Glove didn't fit. Yeah. Glove didn't fit. The glove didn't fit. Godly. The third time I met O.J. Simpson. Oh, yeah. Third time I met O.J. Simpson, I was doing great in life. I just finished the second season of Chappelle's show. Man, those were good days. I was playing a comedy club in Miami, the Improv. I don't know if you've ever been, but if you have, you'd know. The door for the green room is right on the stage. Can you imagine such a thing? If I walked out of the door of the green room, bam, I'm just right here, right from the dressing room. And I did that. I walked out, and the whole crowd was like, hooray! And I looked, ma'am, as close as you are to me, I saw him as soon as I came out, the juice. <laughs> and I saw recognition in his eyes and it filled me with pride that he knew who I was. I didn't acknowledge his presence because it was a white audience and I didn't want to start a panic. <laughs> but I did my show, show went great. I said, good night everyone, they all said, yay! Yeah! And I didn't say nothing to OJ, but I just gave him a signal, let him know I knew he was there. <laughs> and I walked into the green room, and OJ was already in there. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is this possible? I was scared. And then my friends came in, and we all started talking. We sat down on the couch, and I'm just telling you what I saw with my own eyes. You can believe me or not believe me. But in my experience, OJ Simpson, one of the nicest men I'd ever met. He was nice to me. He was nice to my friends. 
conversation was filled with warmth and levity, humor, and wisdom. Mm -hmm. We talked for 90 minutes, and then suddenly the Jew said, you know what, I've got to be going. But it's good to see you again, and I'm glad things went so well. I said, thanks, Juice. And my friend said, yeah, goodbye, Mr. Juice. They're new to the game. <laughs> he said, no, thank you for your hospitality. Good night, guys. And we said, good night. And he just walked out of the room. And as soon as the door closed, we all looked at each other like, that nigga did that shit. <laughs> I can feel, feel like <laughs> murder in the room. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. The fourth time I met OJ Simpson. The fourth time is not the funniest time, but it was the last time I'd see the juice. For some reason, I was at the Kentucky Derby. It's a very long story. <laughs> this is right after I quit Chappelle's show in spectacular fashion. You know, I thought he was done for real, though. I thought he was done. There was a party hosted by Michael Jordan, and every athlete I'd ever admired was in that room. Yes. And then I saw a familiar face by the bar, standing there, drinking alone. It was Chris Tucker. Now, uh oh, uh oh. You have to remember, at this time, we were both technically missing. <laughs> and we went over and we're talking with one another, and motherfuckers were amazed to see us together. Seeing me and Chris Tucker at that point would be like seeing Bigfoot riding a unicorn. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that's what you were saying. And then, through all the gawkers, Familiar face pushed to the crowd. Here he was again, the juice. <laughs> he had his camera ready. He was like, Dave, Chris, good to see you guys. Hey, come on, guys, let's all get together for a picture. And at the same time, me and Chris were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, juice, my career is too flimsy to survive a picture with you. <laughs> That's the end. Good night. <laughs> shout out Chappelle, man. That's shout out Chappelle, man. One of the best to ever touch a mic, man. We send them flowers right now, y'all. Send them flowers, man.